In this video, we're going to be testing iOS 26. It just got released and I want to see how vulnerable it is to Bluetooth spam attacks. We're not only going to use one pen testing gadget, we're going to be using all the gadgets here at once, spamming Bluetooth attacks. Previously, iOS 17, when it first got released, was very vulnerable to these types of attacks and it would completely crash the phones altogether. Apple has made improvements to stop this from happening, so I just want to see how it would work if all these gadgets at once attacked iOS 26. In this video, we're going to be using a Lilligo CC1101 Plus, a Lilligo TT Go, that's an $8 pen testing DIY multi tool. We're going to be using a BLE Shark Nano, a Kishu V4B, and of course, a Flipper Zero. The way this Bluetooth attack works is that every device is going to pretend to be other Bluetooth devices that want to connect to the iPhone, and it's going to keep spamming it and spamming it over and over again. The way this video is going to work, I'm going to play some music, and we're going to start with one device and add all the devices at once, and then I'm going to start doing individual tests. And at the end of the video, we'll break down everything that we saw and my comments on everything. This video is for educational purposes only. Jamming of any type is very illegal. This is all done in a controlled environment, which I gave myself permission to do. I do not condone any illegal activities. This is for educational purposes only. So during my testing, it did not crash iOS 26, but it did spam it pretty well. Um, the old school way didn't really work too well, but I did notice that the key shoot did very well, almost instant. And the Flipper Zero probably performed the best, as you can see here. As soon as I close it out, it's going to keep spamming more devices. It's, it was pretty consistent with the Flipper Zero. I think that did the best. The key shoot did the second best. And to my surprise, the $8 pen testing gadget, the easy DIY that I made a video on recently, did well too. It just took a little while for it to kick off, but you see here, this is a TT Go. We're going to start the BLE attack, and you're going to see it took about 70 device tries, and then once it got to the 60, 70 range, it started spamming the phone, which you're seeing right here. I was pretty surprised. I'm like, oh, look at this. The $9 device is working pretty well. The BLE Shark Nano suffered a little bit. I think it's because the device just got released recently and the firmware is fairly new. I think maybe there's something they could fix in the next update. But again, very impressed with the key shoe. Um, I have the Momentum firmware on this device. It's actually custom made for this one. Uh, if you go onto the Momentum website itself, make sure you download the right version. But it worked pretty well. And uh, the Flip of Zero also has momentum, just the most recent updated one as of right now. Both worked great. And this $8 pen testing gadget has the Bruce firmware, which is a free firmware that anybody can download. It worked really well. I mean, it's it, it not as good as a Flipper Zero. I mean, that's a $200 device, but hey, did pretty well. I'm pretty impressed with the performance of this little tiny guy. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments. It's nice to see that Apple is making improvements when it comes to these spam attacks. My recommendation for people is if you don't need to use Bluetooth, just turn it off. But we threw everything we could at it, and it didn't crash iOS 26. Do me a favor, everybody, and remember that safety is an illusion.